I am gonna put this one down. Oh, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. Oh, oh. <sighs> Should we do it? Okay, um. No, uh, I want to put it, but not now. Let's prioritize getting more leads. Sorry, Mom, I won't be coming home. I am gonna be so depressed if what I'm thinking is all wrong. Ah, <laughs> uh, phone number? It might not be useful. Oh, we gotta give it a try. Good. Keep an eye on her as well. Yes! Victor Rosen! Monday, so she should be at work. Carrington! Juliet, Victor here. Oh, hey, Victor. I just talked to Maria. Why are you not at work? Oh, I sent the sick note. Didn't you re- No, you did not. You were here the entire weekend. That's what the tracker says, but no one authorized you to do so. We have it! Now that you're meant to be here, you are not. Also, what is that registered under your account? This device ID does not belong to a company-approved device. I... I... You will explain these irregularities. I want you in my office as soon as possible. I don't think so. She is so fishy. Oh my god. This is her burner phone. Yeah, Catherine is probably like, what the hell? <laughs> what is that? Uh, important, important. Evidence. That seems unusual. Why was she at work then? See, right now- Oh, what the hell? What? But why would she talk to initiates? Knock, knock. Huh? Who are you? Name's Initiate. Oh, you're this hacker guy Harrison spoke about then? Right. So, you hacked the Thought Blog. You've been following us around. Why? What do you want? What I want? I want to know what happened to Thought. These bombings have been ringing in my head. And I just don't know, was this Thought's work? Was it a Gov setup? Listen, I don't know either, I'm sorry, but shit is majorly going down the drain right now. If you can help us, do it please. My help got you where you are right now. You helped to dox this cost again. Harrison told me you wouldn't want to assist us. Don't talk so openly, or did you forget what's going on? Right, sorry. Can you... can you do that again? What you did? Nope. They're gonna track me down too, for sure. Barely got out last time. I need more intel on this thing, before... First. At the moment, I don't see a way. Damn. So, what are you doing? Oh, you don't know yet. Abraham Goldfels, who found a thought, sent us a message. Thought should gather once more. What? Abe is back? Yeah, and he says he has a plan. You know him? Kinda. Where from? Coincidence. Look, if you know Abraham, why don't you attend this gathering as well? It's going down 4pm as conference call. Give me your number and I'll invite you as well. No. Thanks but no thanks. Sounds like a trap to me. You shouldn't attend either. I'm pretty positive it's not. The email sounded authentic, but have it your way. I will! Good luck with this gathering. Good luck to you with finding out what's going on here. You're gonna need it. Oh... Important in catching initiate. Initiate is someone who has very, very expert hacker skills, but is he really the main thing we're after right now? He's definitely not the bomber, and 
I don't get the impression that he helped out with the bombing. Based off everything he said, because he's like asking everyone, hey man, did you do the bombing? Did the government do it? Yes, he holds the same feelings and kind of, what do you call that? Political alignment as thought, it seems like. But at the same time, he's very self-preserving, very cautious. I was heading down the route thinking that Juliet might be initiate, but I don't think she's crazy enough to make up a fake conversation with herself. So, I feel like initiate is more of a chaotic neutral. If we want to catch him, this piece of information is useful, but like I said, is he really the main person we're after? Juliet is way too carefree and insistent on people attending this meeting. If she's setting up a trap, she might be trying to get everyone to go there, but she's not going to show up, and then the police are going to come catch Juliet. No, not Juliet, everyone else, and then she's going to get away scot-free, is what I think she's trying to do. But I don't know. What am I... Ha. Huh. Look at this! Abe and Juliet. She is not anywhere she's been in the last 24 hours. According to what she says. Abraham Goldfell's home number. Cassandra. Mom, dad, all her sisters. <laughs> you know what's funny though? She doesn't have... She doesn't have, um, Harry here. <laughs> oh god. Will this number be useful? The open door. Initiate, I need to apologize to you for remaining silent for such a long time. I have been working out a plan in hiding. Today, I need to call upon your help to make it happen. I am aware of your capabilities and your skills. You need to stop trying to tear down walls. Instead, shifting to run, to running through open doors. Here's where to find one. 1984 This is an IP address and the port number Oh, it's the conference call Here's what I think and this could totally be me doing the whole conclusion first evidence later thing but Juliet has never had direct contact with initiate before She did not know his contact details but Initiate finally came talking to her. So now, now that she has his information, she was able to send an email to him as Abe. Is that too elaborate? Am I thinking too much? Who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? What is this? Uh, I don't want to disable that one either. Okay, we need to add more. How about... Ooh... Okay... Remember, when we were going into Juliet's trash, we got hacked. Oh, what the heck? Hey, there's a picture now! Who is that? Who are both these people? Mom and Dad? Trash! Why is it in trash? Her mom and dad went on a vacation and they sent her a photo of them being on vacation. Okay, you know what? Let's confirm this. This is gonna take a pretty long time at the rate I'm playing, but <laughs> we gotta be very careful here. Uh, does that really look like mom and dad? Maybe one of her sisters? I mean, their hair color is not... 
Sister? Oh, April. It's April. April's married. McIntyre, Carrington. Okay, so... Okay, look at what happened from the big point of view. Your sister sends you an email being like, Hi, Juliet, we're currently in Copacabana and hope you're doing well. Juliet reads this, closes it, deletes the email. <laughs> we had something here about how she doesn't have a good relationship with her parents. Okay, I'm actually gonna go back a little while. She talks to June and Esther, but not April. Esther is mom. June. May is off doing whatever the hell. You're letting yourself be hassled by mom and dad again. <sighs> See, the thing is, when we got hacked when we opened this thing, was it because we opened this thing, or was it because Initia just happened to get into our computer at the same time as when we were looking at it? I'm not too sure about that part. But she... the fact that it's in trash is kind of like... Why is it in trash? What's new? What's new? Stars? Oh, we didn't finish looking at this yet. Who is that? Who is that? Oh, we can't even see- Maybe June. Maybe. She has glasses. That's the only picture. Okay, we're not putting in pictures. Goldfells. Juliet, where are you? Hey dad, I'm at work. It's a beautiful Sunday, so we thought we could have a family BBQ tonight. April's already here. I don't think I'll be able to come. Well, you're lost. Why are you working almost every weekend now anyway? Did you miss a deadline or something? Oh, we've got this new project here, which is close to release. Everyone's doing overtime at the moment. Lying. What a company! This should be illegal. I hope you're getting overtime. Poor choice to follow this Abraham creep. Just because he worked at Rosentech doesn't mean it's a good job for you. Wow. Dad. What? Seriously, shut the fuck up! I made the right call! I know I'm doing the right thing now! How dare you talk- How dare you talk to me like that! Don't even think about coming home anytime soon! You'll see. I'll make you see. Ooh, When no one's looking, when it's just her and her family, she changes a bit. Hey sis, how's things? You there? Oh hey May. yeah doing good. That's awesome. Up for a meet and greet with your long lost sis next week? Gotta hit B-Town on Wednesday and stay for three awesome days at A&D's hotel. You're not staying at home? God no, gonna visit them once, that's already family overdose. <laughs> so, meet up? Okay, let's do it. I'll get back to you as soon as I know if I have some spare time. Coolio. See ya then little sis. See you! A and D's hotel. Huh. Hey Jules! What's up, all good? Hey Cassie! Yeah, all is quite well. Bit swamped at work, but what's new, right? It's Friday! Hangout time? No romantic dinners with Joseph on schedule? Pah, you know what he's like. All work and no play. Hmm, you know what? Why not? Yeah, that's my Jules. What about haunted house? We could go there. Haunted house? You? Something happened to you overnight? It's a big detour from my usual route into the city, but fuck it, Jules wants to go to haunted house! Huh? Why did you take the 9B? You know I don't like that place. Oh, yeah, sorry. Although it is a lot faster to go through Freedom Plaza, like, much faster. Oh, shoot. Like, even from a gamer perspective, all these little hints are all pointing little fingers at Juliet. It's not looking good for her. Yeah, I know. It's pretty ridiculous, being afraid of a place like that. 
Don't let yourself be bothered by the past. You're free to go wherever you like. Uh, yeah, you're right. I'll give it a try. Good, Cassie. You make it sound like I'm a dog or something. Still for haunted house? I am. Girl, I like your new attitude, I must say. Great, Miss Watergate, let's make it happen. It's a big detour from my usual route into the city. 9B. 9B is a bus, right? Okay, so Cassandra, after the incident where she supposedly protected Juliet, you know, the whole thing where she smashed the rock in that guy's head, she became traumatized and she didn't take that bus anymore. But Juliet is like, no, you should go take the bus, you should go take the bus. That is fishy. It's a very smart girl, Juliet. Um, this is good supplemental evidence, but I'm not sure if... Oh god. Oh god, there's so many. Ah! Remember, this is always on my mind. Like, Juliet is the only person, probably, probably, yes, I can't say for sure, only person that Abraham told about the whole immigration thing. Oh, okay, why is this starred? What's here? Joseph Langley. And remember how, oh my god, Juliet and Nina don't seem to get along. So if this was really all Juliet's doing, she basically concocted this plan to get rid of Nina. Although I don't know how much of it to attribute to her. And how much of it to attribute to luck and chance. Okay, we have chunks everywhere. 14 chunks left. Okay, I am gonna take a gamble because right now if we try to... It's like we're at a crossroad. If we keep trying to extend, just keep walking forward instead of picking down one road, in the end, we're not going to be able to catch anybody. I think I have sufficient evidence to think that Juliet is suspicious. So I'm going to start adding chunks that... <sighs> I'm going to start adding chunks that all point to Juliet. This could be a really bad choice! But what's life if you don't take a little risk? Something, something, something. Alright. Not important. Disable. This clears up Harrison. I want to add it if I have time, but not now. Juliet Dixon. Um. Email, email. Fuck! Nothing! Waste of a chunk! Don't fail me! Thank god. A night to remember. Our protest at Stelligan was a lively gathering of open-minded people. Students, teachers, professors, and others formed a bright and colorful crowd. I have got to admit, when Abraham asked me to join Thought, I wasn't sure what to think of it. Join an activist group? That's not a thing for me. Sure, not everything is fine, but organizing protests in the streets? Isn't that a bit much? But I knew Abraham, as he was my professor for media ethics at Stelligan, and so I trusted him. I said yes, but it wouldn't stop there. Harrison and Nina left the event planning to me. Me, who had never done anything close to this before. Whew, pretty scary task. As both Abraham and I were closely tied to Stelligan University, my suggestion was to organize a peaceful protest there, slowly raising awareness among students. They would most likely be more open-minded, prone to question the authority and government, wouldn't they? Indeed, the protest went off without a hitch. Stelligan's president even permitted us to hold the protest on campus grounds and close to 100 students, provided I didn't miscount, participated, many of them just joining in as they were walking by and wanted to know more. There was no conflict, no fear, just support. People were still talking about it a week later in the halls of Stelligan, and for me personally, it turned out to be a night to remember. 
Jules, let me say the important thing first. You did great. That's why we chose you for this. You even thought of making sure everything could get home. Everyone could get home after the protest by organizing an extra bus. A bus? Anyway, I already got an idea for what's next. Take things out to the streets, literally. Not the university streets, more like the street streets. Think you can help us organize that as well? Thanks, Harry. After this, I'm confident I might be able to organize something bigger for next time. The streets are probably not the best choice. Too unsafe, but I'll come up with something. Juliet, I don't want to offend you. You're new and you did a good job, but this simply isn't enough. Our petty protest doesn't matter on a national scale. That's the simple truth. With a pace like this, the government will have erected their oppressive machinery before we even get to the streets. Nina, you know I think likewise, and in the end you're right. Our next thing will be much bigger. We'll make the news for sure. But we need to be smart about it. Smart like Julesy. That's why I want her to plan the next thing as well. I understand you, Nina. I'll do my best to get things right and safe. At the moment, I'm thinking of Freedom Plaza. Huh. Pretty much everything we need space-wise there. Would that be okay for everyone? The result of entering in the alias was getting... Getting this. Do we not already think she organized this? Is working on Sunday, working on Saturday. Plan the Freedom Plaza protest. Not just that one, but this one as well. Leave that for now. Oh. Did I forget something? Nope. Mm. I don't know if Initiate will show up because he's not that stupid. I'll disable that for now. You helped to dox this cost again. I might want to add that if I want to catch Initiate. But he's a smart guy, like I said. My damn phone is gone. Juliet is hiding somewhere where she has not stayed before in the past 24 hours. Yes. A useful hint, if you encounter any hints to hideout locations, be sure to validate them by checking where they have stayed before first. Thank you for your hint. Oh, but maybe, you know, we could have done that by eyeballing it instead of giving it to her. <laughs> Whatever. My damn phone is gone. Harrison lost his phone. The reason why I wouldn't want to add this is because right now, we didn't even tell Delacroix that we found the email on Harrison's phone. Therefore, we don't need to tell her about how he lost his phone, is what I'm thinking. You and me were done. Freaking heck, I keep going back to that one because I can't disable it. Okay, go back here. Suggested Freedom Plaza route to Cassandra Watergate. <sighs> Freaking heck. Abraham worked at Rosentech. What kind of kid are you to tell your dad to shut the fuck up? My goodness. Is that phone gonna yield anything? Home phone? Save it for later. So wherever we're trying to find her, she won't be here. I am so lost. 11 data chunks. I'm feeling the... Oh, I am so pressured right now. Cassandra Watergate. Okay, I'm gonna add this one in. This is suggesting Cassandra Watergate was possibly coerced into being at Freedom Plaza by Julia Carrington nonetheless. Incredible. Half of our time is up. Stay diligent and considerate. 
You have found enough material implying that something is very wrong with Juliet Carrington. She might be our impersonator. Good. But it's only an implication so far. Remember to add all possible locations where she might be hiding. Continue to collect anything of value until the gathering. We don't have a location. <sighs> oh, lordy, lord, lord, lord. Is there a complete overlap with where Harrison has been and where Juliet has been in the last 24 hours? Stelligan, Penn, Orchid, Portobello, Outskirts. Stelligan, Penn, Portobello, Rosen Plaza. That's. Is that Rosentech? Malloy Court. Oh my god, I am sweating. I think Catherine Delacroix was telling me to forget about Harry for now. I just don't have enough time to think about Harry, so I'm gonna disable all the stuff with Harry. Cassandra? I, I don't know about that. None of these, none of these are right. I hope. We haven't come across any conflict so far. Yeah, I think that's a good decision because I am stressed out enough already. <laughs> Abraham worked at Rosentech. Is that important? Oh my god, I am stressed. I am stressed. Why does it keep giving me a star? There's nothing. Insurance, forget it. Contacts, water, Cassandra. Well, we have another chunk with Cassandra in it, so we can leave that one alone. Just to clear it up, because I can't see right now. There's too many things. Contacts, Cassandra. Dad, dad, shut the fuck up. Initiate. Oh, the piece about this. <sighs> Harrison and Nina left event planning to me. Okay, do it. Do it. Fa! I'm not getting anything new! I'm just getting a, a lot of little things saying that, you know, hey, maybe, maybe she's suspicious. Maybe she's suspicious. I need a place. I need a place. Oh, I am so stressed. Abraham worked at Rosentech. What? Oh, wrong person. Uh, but, but will adding- will, will adding Abraham stuff really help us? <gasps> ah! Oh, what the heck? Hold the phone! Wait. Juliet was at Abraham's house. With Harrison. Maybe we should add the home phone number. If it still works. What? Why would they be at Abraham's house? That makes no goddamn sense, but... You know what? Finding phone numbers, emails, that's the only way we'll get new stuff. We need it. Oh my goodness. Where am I looking at? Please give me something new! Uh, shoo! Shit! Goldfels is dead. What do you expect to happen on his phone line? Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. See, now I'm. Oh my god, we only have eight chunks left. Okay, 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 okay. Worked at Rosentech. Fuck! You're not supposed to follow Abraham. I am wasting time. What now, what now? 
Employee information, Abraham Goldfels. Demiurge? Oh! Hey! But... Demiurge is... Is the... The... The thing! The thing, you know! You know what I'm talking about, right? Demiurge! 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 No, I think we need to add this one. Catherine is trying to discourage me. Oh, frick, I'm really scared. I am so scared. <laughs> Help me, God. Help me. I command you to no longer dig around in Abraham Goldfels' past. I could easily turn you into a target person for disobeying me. You would not want that, do you? All right, boom. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Catherine Delacroix, because you just gave me the last bit of courage to continue on doing what I'm doing. What is strange, though, is that Juliet requested material on this demiurge. Cassandra's phone. We have her number? Law offices of... Joseph! Cassie? They released me! I'm free to go! Wow, that's fantastic! I can't believe it! You must have had a hand in this for sure! Well, maybe I did. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Wait, I'm gonna pick you up. You sure you don't have to work? Work and wait. What the hell happened to you? Is this the same Joseph Langley? It's a long story. I'll tell you on our way out. I'm so looking forward to seeing you again. Gonna be there in about 20 minutes. See you soon. Yeah, can't be soon enough. It doesn't sound like Joseph is going to the meeting. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's going. Because six data chunks left. <sighs> huh? What was that? What was that little sound? Okay, now I'm back on not knowing what the hell I should be doing. Ooh. Oh! Flaw. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Oppenheimer quoted when he realized he made the nuclear bomb possible. For the first time, I feel I truly understand what he meant. I know it's impossible to stop progress. I thought I could change what was coming. Control the inevitable from within. I cannot. I made a mistake. I must quit at once. The only thing I can do is to seek redemption. So let this be my confession. I, Abraham Goldfels, developed the so-called ethical codex for a project codenamed Demiurge, which has been renamed Orwell. And I have proof for everything I am about to write cloned to a device with the UID PC 68334-9021. Orwell is the most sinister project I can think of, a system to spy on every last citizen in the nation. My intention was to govern this highly invasive project by applying strong ethical constraints on what it can access and how that access is granted. I was given a lot of freedom in this regard, yet that was not enough. Seeing this thing in action, I can only look at myself in disgust for being so naive, that I ignored the danger that was staring me in the face. Even when the system is investigating targeted persons, it will jump from one individual to another, ultimately parsing all their indiscretions and making everyone a target. Every test indicated one true fact, no one is innocent. I think that's partially related to the concept of six degrees of separation, which says that uh, you and any other person in this world, you, you, can, you are probably related to them if we jump six degrees. One degree, does that make sense? Like one degree is one, uh, you knowing a friend and then maybe your friend's cousin, that would be another degree and so on and so forth, six times. And you can probably reach about just anybody else in the world, which is kind of what's happened here. Look at how many people we have the name of. Tons. Juliet. Juliet's family. 
And, you know, Juliet's sister, Juliet's sister's son, Juliet's sister's son's school friend, so on and so forth. I feel the urge to run to the press, to give them conclusive evidence that Orwell exists. Yet I ask myself, will it achieve anything? Just another news piece lost in the crowd, one that will be drowned out by the latest Heinlein scandal, or whatever Rosen is eating for breakfast. I doubt I'll even have enough strength to leave this article live on the blog. Mmm. I can't handle the shame of what I've done. I bet they'll start using the project against me, then others I'm connected to. It will be for the best if I just achieve it, but I need to commit my thoughts to words, even if they're just for myself. Juliet knows about Orwell. The good thing is, remember how we established that any piece of information taken into Orwell has to be used. I guess that's to prevent biases and corruption too, which is great here because Catherine cannot stop me. <sighs> so, you know what now? Yes, we hired him for Orwell. This is his doing. It was me who wanted him on the project in the first place, to get things right with Orwell, to follow ethical standards. Only very few people here knew that, and I wanted to make sure it stayed that way. Our most ferocious enemy worked for us, a person I chose. Now you know it all. Discovered by the very tool it was all about. The irony is not lost on me. But well, you chose to disobey. I've warned you before. This will have consequences for you. Oh my freaking lord! What? You can't- Oh my- You piece of- You are such a piece of crap. The PC's offline. <laughs> hey, good job! You have so much information on me. Good job. Giving you a clap right here. Good job. See if you can catch me, huh? We'll see about that. <laughs>